guys, hope you're all doing well. My name is Christina, warm greetings from sunny Australia, Melbourne and right now I'm Torrance University where actually I'm studying my master's degree in international hospitality and tourism management and today in this video I would like to show you how my university looks like inside and what are all the facilities. Hope you will enjoy it and after that you would like to be enrolled at Torrance University as well. Please enjoy watching and leave your comments below to this video. Here you may see the area for food and beverage where all the students have an access to so they can learn um, how to make the coffee, different um, types of the wine, so this is the bar display only of course. Inside of them you do have the different types of the glasses we will be go here it's just the lockers for every single student this is all the very well known and popular hotels all around the globe but they are also located in australia as well i am currently working in park hyatt which is located in melbourne near the parliament square this kind of stations not operating right now just because of the COVID restrictions but if we go further it's very much convenient it's so beautiful up here you may just study communicate with your success coach for example actually one of the main reasons why I have chosen the Blue Mountain School because it is one of the best uh, schools for the tourism and hospitality and also they do may help you to be employed uh, by one of the very well-known hotels so this one is just the kitchen area where you can have your lunch we do have the uh, bathrooms toilets and the changing room so that too change the clothes and only after that go and practice the skills that you need and if we go and enter this room for international hotel management school blue mountains so you may see Torrance university of australia so if you just enter this room you may find the different computers where all students can actually practice their front office skills and up there you may be trained how to make different types of reservation so it's my classmate it's so cozy very much convenient and over here you may be trained and practice do the bedding stuff um, stripping, changing the lines, pillowcases, and inside of this, we do have the large bathroom with all necessary equipment. It's also for the housekeepers, and this is only the tourism lab. But if we go upstairs, over there, you may see already the rooms that are normally dedicated for the theory so for the theoretical classes not for the practical classes this is kind of the study area you may just grab your coffee and drink or study here you do have the drinks and beverages over there and then elevators that come uh, to the upper floors for the studying rooms where i have been before actually is a tourism lab and you may use these stairs to come down and after that on your right you may see just the tables where you can again study communicate the bathrooms and up here little kitchen you may play some games in your free time and this is the area for the success coaching where you have face-to-face -face conversation with your personal success coach who may develop your skills further, navigate in terms of the future profession, help you to find the placement. And basically that's it.
how uh, you can easily navigate in the city is to use several options, either buses or trams or trains, sometimes even boats are available, so it really depends on your choice and preferences. Whatever you need for that is just the MyKey key. It is a specific card that you can get and uh, actually by using this card it is very much convenient because you need just to touch it on all the time when you enter to different types of the transportation but the thing is that it's gonna be absolutely for free for you if you are traveling inside of the city of Melbourne however if you go outside of the city it will a bit costly for you right now because it will cost around like uh, four dollars and a half in one way only.